Hey, it's Kimberly, and today we're going to be making my raw taco gorilla wraps. I'm really excited to share this recipe with you guys because it's something I've been making for my clients for years, and it's an amazing replacement when you feel like having something to pick up that does taste like a taco. <laughs> There's no meat in this, it's completely plant-based, but I think you'll be really surprised when you make this recipe just how delicious and filling it is, while at the same time, it's actually really beautifying and great for your skin and your hair as well. So here's what the final version looks like. It's on page 278 of my new book, Beauty Detox Foods, and it's really easy, so let's get started right now. We'll make it in about two and a half minutes. So the first thing, the base of our taco meat, quote unquote, is gonna be some walnuts. I'm just gonna throw them here into the food processor. You can also use a blender if you don't have a food processor, or you could even chop the walnuts by hand if that's um, easier for you. Here I'm gonna add the spices first. We have some cumin, which is a really potent, beautiful spice. They use it in some Indian food as well. But all these different spices are gonna come together. Um, even though they may not seem all like Mexican spices, it's, it'll come together in a really interesting way. Now we have some coriander, which we're just gonna put right in. And now, here I've already mixed together some chili powder and some cayenne pepper. You can add a little bit more cayenne if you like the spiciness, but uh, if you don't, then obviously use a little bit. It uh, goes a long way, it's pretty strong. So what I like to do first, to make sure everything gets mixed really well into the taco meat, is I do a first pulse with just the spices. I'm just gonna do it quick. Great, and that just sort of mixes everything, make sure it's evenly distributed. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of low sodium tamari. And I know it, it seems funny we're putting tamari into a Mexican flavored thing, but again, everything's coming together to really add delicious flavor to the walnuts. It's gonna be amazing. So I'm putting the tamari in, closing the food processor, we're gonna pulse again. And you don't wanna to pulse too much, you wanna have that texture, retain some of the texture, so it seems a little bit like ground meat, <laughs> which obviously we're not using here. This is a completely plant-based recipe, but I'm just gonna pulse it a little bit. And then as you can see, <laughs> walnut and walnut base full of omega-3 fatty acids, tons of amazing minerals. We haven't added any straight oil to this. You don't need any oil in the recipe, but there's some natural beautifying oils in the walnuts themselves. And it has this meaty, um, texture, this nice uh, thicker texture. So what we're using for the wrap component is one of my favorite things to stock at home. We're using these big huge leaves, collard greens. Now a lot of times you'll see collard greens at the store and a lot of us cut it up and saute it or cook it or maybe just ignore them altogether. But as you can see, they're a perfect leaf for wrapping things in. So when you're having a collard wrap, you really taste the filling, but you're having this amazing leaf, which is full of chlorophyll and minerals and amino acids and vitamins and all these amazing beautifying properties. So it's a really great thing um, when you're making this recipe to keep on hand and also just to keep on hand in general, you can wrap all kinds of things in collard greens. So now we're gonna make the wrap. I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. The first thing I like to do is just get rid of right away the really thick bottom part of the stem. It's so thick, it's really chewy, it's not easy or yummy to eat. So we're just gonna discard that and now you're left with a leaf looking like this. So what we're gonna do, you can see there's a lighter side and a darker side. We're gonna put the darker side down on your cutting board, which is gonna show as the outside of the wrap after you wrap it up. And I may even cut off a little bit more of the thick part of the stem. It depends on your collard. Some of them are a little bit more tender than others. Some have a thicker stem than others. So just take a look at the ones you have. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of this nut meat. I would say maybe a quarter of a cup or a third of a cup, depending on how big and how thick your collard is. And you're gonna put it right down the middle, right along the stem of the collard green. 
and you're gonna avoid a couple inches on either sides of the stem as you put it along here, great. And now you're gonna to top it with a little bit of salsa. And you know, to me, salsa is a free for all. I like to put red peppers, uh, bell peppers in my salsa. Sometimes I even put carrots. If you like cilantro, that would be a good thing to include. Some cleansing properties, definitely some lime, some lime or some lemon juice. It's gonna add color, it's gonna add freshness. And it goes with our, with our taco, with our taco collar wrap, of course. <laughs> so now you're gonna take one end, the end closest to you, and you're gonna put it over the top. And now we're just gonna roll it burrito style. So I'm gonna start from one end and tuck that in so nothing falls out. And I'm gonna take the thicker end, I'm gonna break the stem a little bit, even though I've cut it. And now I'm gonna keep rolling tightly, just like a burrito. And now you have your wrap. So easy. I want to cut it down diagonally. Ta-da! <laughs> About two and a half minutes, three minutes. You can make this. You can have it at home. These are awesome for packing. You can take them on a picnic. You can take them to work. Keep the collards. You can make the nut meat. It stays for five to seven days, so it's something you can also stock at home. It's delicious. It's super beautifying, and it digests really well perfectly combined. So again, there's over 86 more recipes in Beauty Detox Foods. A lot of them, as you saw, are in full color. Fully, um, all the instructions are easily laid out. So be sure to check out your cop, get your copy today and don't miss out on all these amazing beautifying recipes.